A while ago I made a video where I washed a musical fidelity amplifier but this morning I've got a Pioneer SA708 uh, here that, that needs a bit of cleaning as you can see the the board is the board's dirty there's no two ways about it that's 40 years of dust on the board and the switches are intermittent and I've had a great success rate over the last 16 years washing these pioneers these SA models to restore the switch functionality so uh, I'm gonna give it a go on this this guy um, yeah let's go some crusty detergent everywhere you would have noticed I've covered up the transformer with a plastic bag just to, to not get it wet it's very important not to get the transformer wet but yeah, this is just industrial de degreaser a little bit around the switch is just gently avoiding the serial number badge um, <clears throat> an old paintbrush let's just start rubbing the stuff up detergent oh gosh not doing a good I've I've now made peace with the fact that I am not the blogger type I I don't have time to make fancy videos I really I don't don't know where where those people <laughs> overseas in, in, in America and England and all those places where they get the time to make fancy fancy videos and earn a living I I don't know it's yeah, things are different here in Africa, in South Africa, so, yeah, let's just clean in there, look at that, the board, immediately it responds nicely, uh, this is, but th this cleaning is, is, this is real and easy cleaning because it's, uh, it's mostly dry dust, it's not uh, an amplifier that's been exposed to um, to f a, a fatty atmosphere, I've had that before, where it might have been in an open plan kitchen living room area where there's this crusty, fatty dust deposit on the amplifier, and also the the nicotine um, nicotine atmospheres of people that smoked. Uh, that's also a different kind of a accumulation on on the pc board on the amplifier itself so luckily this one nice and dry dust uh that, that comes off much easier it's gonna look great um yeah but right let me just pause here and i'll continue with this in a moment and now the bit that everyone loves to see like yeah yeah get in there Always remember, the skinny part is not getting the thing wet, the skinny part is getting the thing dry. That's the, 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 the bit you need to worry about. It's just getting it dry. It's, um, I've said this so many times that in big manufacturing facilities, they have uh, industrial dishwashers that cleans the piece of boards, it's especially made for, for cleaning uh, equipment and piece of boards so that it arrives at your place pristine when you, after you bought it. Because the stuff gets dirty in the manufacturing facility, there's all kinds of resins and crap that needs to be washed off. And now it's in the African sun, even though we have, it's the beginning of winter, it's uh, just sitting there to just drip dry a bit. And I will stick it in the fan oven at about 50 or 60 degrees centigrade to just bake off any moisture that might be somewhere underneath a component or absorbed in, in, in a place somewhere where you don't want it. So I just, I just bake it off. Right, 